So there's four species of Asian carp when we say that term. There's more species of carp that are from Asia, but Asian carp refer to four species. That's being the big head carp and the silver carp, which are the focus of my study. And then there's two other uh, species, the grass carp and black carp. We focused on evaluating suitable habitat in Lake Michigan for two highly invasive species of Asian carp, um, being the big head and the silver carp. Uh, these species are in the Illinois River right now where they've established prolific densities and have had detrimental impacts. And there's concern about them if they reach Lake Michigan and the other Great Lakes, the effects that they could have on the recreational fishery and the food web at large. Concerns about this though has been uh, kind of also met with skepticism regarding the ability of these fish to survive in a lake that doesn't have a lot of their primary food source, which is plankton, um, as well as the lake is much colder than other uh, environments where these fish exist. So we used a model then to evaluate food resources throughout the lake, um, given the temperatures in the lake, to see where there is enough food to support the growth of these fishes. And we kind of use that as a proxy for understanding, well, where could these fish survive and when can they survive? We were able to evaluate the potential of these fish to feed on more types of food than the previous models uh, considered as well as the ability of these fish to feed at different depths. The previous models only evaluated food in that top surface meter of the water. They can essentially, they're highly adaptive and they can survive in environments that are less productive than um, maybe these nearshore areas. However, they still are probably going to want to go to those nearshore areas that previous papers already identified as suitable.